Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about lesson 73, uh, finding the greatest common factor or GCF. So we already know that a common factor is a number that is a factor of two numbers. The greatest common factor then is the largest whole number that is a factor of two numbers. So let's take a look at example one. I want to find the greatest common factor or GCF of 8 and 20. So the first thing I need to do is find, hang on, I need to list all of my factors of 8 and all of my factors of 20. So 8 has 1 times 8 and 2 times 4. The factors of 20 are 1 times 20, 2 times 10, and 4 times 5. So my common factors then are 1, 2, and 4. So those are my common factors. Since 4 is the largest of those factors, the GCF equals 4. Okay? So why is it important to be able to find the greatest common factor or the GCF? Well, let's look at example 2. Example 2 says use the GCF of 8 and 20 to reduce 8 twentieths. Well, if I know that the GCF equals 4, I'm going to take 8 twentieths and I'm going to reduce it by dividing by 4 fourths. So I take this GCF and it becomes my fraction equivalent to 1. So divided by 4 fourths, 8 divided by 4 is 2, 20 divided by 4 is 5, and so it reduces to 2 fifths. So the purpose of doing this, if you divide by the GCF, the greatest common factor, it will immediately get you in one step to your fraction in simplest form. If I divided, oh, 20. Let's say I divided by 2, which is also a factor, or a common factor, I would get 4 tenths, but 4 tenths is not in simplest form. I would need to reduce by 2 halves again in order to get 2 fifths. So by dividing by the greatest common factor, I go straight to two-fifths instead of having to reduce twice. So that's the purpose of finding and using the greatest common factor. Okay, that's it for examples tonight. Your lesson practice is A through I, and I'll see you in the morning.